In this video, you'll see how to automate updates to your product listings in AWS Marketplace using Catalog API. With this API, you can automate your publishing pipeline, reduce the manual effort to update listings on AWS Marketplace, and perform bulk updates more easily. To use Catalog API to manage your product, you'll need to have a seller account and a product that has already been published in the AWS Marketplace. Please see the seller guide link in the description below this video for more information. For the purposes of this demonstration, this is our product detail page on AWS Marketplace that we want to modify. To get started, we'll navigate to the AWS Marketplace Management Portal for sellers. From here, we'll navigate to our server products. Catalog API for AWS Marketplace is currently available for software packaged as single Amazon Machine Images, or AMI, or containers. Let's select our AMI product and copy its product ID so we can use it when we make our API calls. To call Catalog API, we will use AWS Cloud Shell, a browser-based shell with the AWS Command Line Interface, or AWS CLI, pre-installed. Catalog API is available in various AWS SDKs. Please see the documentation link in the video description for more information. Since we are already logged into our seller account, AWS Cloud Shell will inherit the permissions to edit our product listings. Let's set a variable to the product ID we copied earlier. The first change we'll make to our product is to update its title and descriptions. To do this, we'll call the Start Change Set API. However, before we can do that, we'll need to prepare our request parameters. Let's set a variable to a JSON object that includes the new title and description. Please find the link to the documentation for a full list of possible fields we can update. Any omitted fields will default to the value in the latest version. In order to use this JSON object in the Start Change Set API request, we'll need to convert it to a JSON string and set a variable to it. We'll use a command line application called JQ to stringify the JSON object. Now, let's put it all together. The change type for this Start Change Set API request is Update Information. We will include the variables for the product ID and the details property that includes the changes. After we call the Start Change Set API, the change will take some time. We can call the Describe Change Set API to see the progress status using the Change Set ID outputted here. Let's copy its value. Now, let's call the Describe Change Set API and paste in the Change Set ID we copied. When the Change Set status changes to Succeeded, we can see our changes immediately on our Live Product Detail page in AWS Marketplace. Let's refresh the page. As you can see, our title and short and long descriptions have been updated. Next, let's add a new AMI version to our AMI product. Back in AWS Cloud Shell, we'll call the Start Change Set API again, but this time with the change type Add Delivery Options. We'll set a variable to the JSON object that includes the details of our new version, including usage instructions and other properties. For a full list of properties for adding a new version, please visit the link to the Catalog API documentation in the description below. As before, we'll convert the object to a JSON string in order to use it in the Start Change Set API request and set a variable to it. Now let's put it all together. Again, the change set will take time. Let's check its status. Right now, the change set status is preparing, so we'll need to wait. Let's fast forward a bit. Now that the change set status is succeeded, we can see our changes immediately on our live product detail page in AWS Marketplace. Let's refresh the page. We can now see that the latest version is 3.0.1. Let's continue to the subscription page and from there to the configuration page. Notice that the software version defaults to 3.0.1, which is the one we just added. The previous version is also available in the drop down menu. You can also use the Start Change Set API for other types of changes, such as to update details of a particular product version or to prevent new subscribers from launching to older versions. You've just seen how to automate updates to your product listings in AWS Marketplace using Catalog API.
You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.